Hey guys, today is March the 15th. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning, but um, I got in yesterday this box right here. I'm a little bit disappointed because um, I got three boxes. Okay. This is just paperwork I stuck in there because I was carrying it from work. Because I got it in and it said that, you know, I got it in and I knew that I had ordered two big boxes. So, I wonder why my light went out. Hold on. Sorry about that. Jotty walked by and hit the cord. But, so I knew I had gotten two boxes because I had gotten the uh, Pretty Me, um, Pretty Me Cross Stitch box. And it's a mystery box and a Super Saver mystery box. And then I, I love these. So I had to get me some more uh, plastic stitch markers. And, um... So I got that. So I thought that they were going to, so I knew that I was going to have to go into the post office to get them. Um, but, uh, so to my brother went today and he got them and I said, you have to go in. He said, yeah, but it would have been able to fit in the locker um, if they would have tried. And I said, really? And he said, yeah. So then he brings me this box. Now, I have to admit that I thought they were going to be bigger. I thought they was going to be kind of like, um, like my Mac, uh, Mary Maximum, but it's not. So, inside this box, I had my darn good yarn stitch markers. I put, I put my pumpkin in there. Pumpkin doesn't come with it, but you get 25 stitch markers. So, I got this because I like these because these I don't mind if I lose them, my stitch markers I get from Little Box of Crochet, uh, Luther Co., and other places, I like those. You know, like my um, Cinderella one and all that. So I don't really like, I'll use them at home because if I misplace them, I know that if I clean my room really well or something, I'll find it. But I don't like taking them out in public because I get paranoid about losing them. So I take the darn good yarn ones out to public. Well, so I got two mystery boxes. I'm not for sure which one's which. I got a, a pretty, um, pretty me uh, cross stitch box. It retails uh, for a hundred dollars. It was on sale for seventy nine when I got it, and um, with my discount code uh, because they were doing save twenty, I got. I should have used the discount code for the monthly subscription but i didn't because i forgot but i used the 20 percent off code and it was sixty dollars and three cents and then i got me a super saver mystery box and it retail it's supposed to have a, a total worth of 299 dollars and it was on sale for 99 and then i got it with a 20 percent off at 75 40 uh 75 24 and then my um stitch markers just cost three dollars so it came to a hundred and thirty eight dollars and thirty one cents shipping since we're uh club members since i'm a club member it came uh to three dollars and ninety five cents so this total box cost me a hundred and forty two dollars and twenty six cents but uh i had accumulated karma points of a hundred dollars worth of karma points so I spent my $100 worth of Karma points on it. So it cost me, so this cost me $42.26 cash. Now, to be honest with you, the size of this box, <laughs> the size of this box uh, makes me glad I didn't pay full price for it. <laughs> I would have been crying. If I would have paid $142 for this, I would have been crying. 
I would have been really, really, really upset. I don't know. Hold on. I don't know why my light keeps going off. But sorry about that. That's too bright. I don't know if it's because Jotty keeps touching it or what. But. So. The only other thing that was in here was this $100 voucher, wine voucher. I'm not going to use it. So if any of y'all want to use it, here is the code. And so the first one that uses it gets it. Okay. So here's the first box we're going to go through. My favorite color is pink. So we're going to do the pink one first. So I don't have any scissors beside me. Here's what it looks like. So this one is uh, the Pretty Me cross stitch box. And it's supposed to have 10 cross stitches in there and some other stuff. So let's see what it has in there. So the first thing is, it says cross stitch style. It says a vegan leather pouch and earrings. It has 13 pieces in here. Uh, makes one necklace and earring set. So, a leather pouch and the earrings. It has three designs you can do. Ooh, I'll be doing that one because I love birds because I'm a birdie. But aren't those cool? And but yeah, it's all bagged up inside too. Yeah, but that is really cool. It says six designs included. So the heart, the bird, and the flower. It includes one vegan leather pouch set. One vegan leather earring set, one ball chain, two colors of floss, two needles, one needle threader, and one instruction booklet. And you can choose from the six designs, include or create your own. Floss individually. Uh, floss included to make one design but that doesn't mean you can't make all of them because you get all six patterns that's awesome and then you get um darn good yarn sticker pack and so one of the stickers is this one which is the darn good uh, yarn logo and the other one is the famous slogan i i uh I'm so crafty, I sweat glitter, you know, and it's, um, I looked up that, so that's what the other one is, and then, okay, that's going to drive me nuts if it keeps doing that, yes, so hold on just a second. I was blaming Jotty, and I didn't even have it plugged up. <laughs> so it was really me. <laughs> Ain't that funny? <laughs> okay. 
and then we got this one and it has a bird on there too it says three pieces a wood pendant necklace and so it comes with included one chain um i mean one charm one ball chain necklace and instruction booklet and you have a choice of three so you get a flower i think it's a carnival deal and a bird oh that's a basket ain't it or a bag i like that one but i also like that one i might have to do all birds <laughs> And then it is a bracelet and it says two piece metal um, cuff bracelet one bracelet makes a metal cuff bracelet instructions and design inside and it's taped up really good and it's got and it's got a wire on there so you really can't get it off i was going to try it on but i sure don't want to break it oh hold on Could you just see me breaking it before I even get to make it? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I'm going to. So there's what it looks like. And then here, I can't get that one off because I don't have scissors, but here is the designs. So you can make a flower, a thing. I don't know what those ones are. Are those little owls? And then hearts. If those end up being owls, I know who I'm going to end up making this for because if it's an owl, it'll go to my Aunt Mary because she's an owl. She likes owls. So there's that. And I think that's really cool. And then three piece stitchable tinker box. And this one is it's a skull there it is and it is three piece tinker box and I was thinking that I might know who this will go to she'd have fun doing it so I think you could do this style or this style Okay, so there's three box patterns because this says box pattern three. And this one says box pattern two. So I'm not for sure what the third pattern looks like. All right. And then we have another one. That one was black this one is brown like wood and it is a three-piece uh, uh trinket box and on here it has love isn't that pretty and then it looks like it has either a cat or a dog you know it could be a cat yeah i think it's a cat or it could be a boston terrier and then this one right here so it probably has that love and then 
two, and three. And then you get a white one. And the white one, it's a, it's a trinket box. And it's got a bicycle on this side. And then it says, yay, today. The next item is a three-piece metal necklace. You get a metal charm, one ball chain necklace, and an instruction booklet. And here's what it looks like. There's the chain, and there's the metal plate. Then here is the three designs. You get flowers, and then that pattern, uh, shimmer on, and then the pineapple. I like the pineapple. And that one is a, a square, and then you get a circle metal necklace, three piece, and uh, you know it comes with a metal charm, the ball chain and necklace, and a, the instruction booklet. And so you get a circle one, and then you get three designs. Look at that bee, and then the heart, and then is that a? And then that's a shawl or poncho. I probably do the B. <laughs> and then you get this. And it is an embroidery hoop ring. And see, it's an actual ring. Do you see the ring part? And then it's got a little bitty brace to do it on. And then you get the included is one embroidery hoop set, one piece of uh, Addy cloth, Audi cloth, one metal ring base, and one instruction booklet. So you get the cloth that you do the cross stitch on and then you get the hoop so that you can do that and uh and so it's a ring and then here are the designs you can get because you can choose from three designs and you get that pattern a key or the high i like the high i don't know if, i don't know what size the ring is so i can't tell if I'll be able to wear it. But isn't that cute? Hmm. So it's probably for a little kid. So I like the high. For anybody. Okay. When I seen other unboxings for the crafty box, the um, the thread came in a baggie. My thread didn't come in a baggie. It is just loose. They're supposed to be 25. Last but not least, we have a seven piece cross stitch hairband. And it comes with, uh, it includes the stretchable hairband, two embroidery flosses floss colors two needles one needle threader and one instruction booklet and uh, it has three designs it has flowers hearts and be fabulous i'd probably do the flowers or the hearts i don't know about the be fabulous Designs included for beginners, intermediate, and advanced skills. And then it has everything in there that you need. It says it has two colors. So if you want to do the other ones like that right there, you'd have to probably buy colors. But isn't that pretty? 
So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you did get the ten that they promised you. And now let's see if they gave us a 25 of these. These are the mini, um, mini schemes. And so we have some, uh, this pale pink. blue, green, another green, blue, a grayish color, kind of a yellowy color, some more pale pinks, a red, Another blue, a brown, a green, another green. Jotty decided he's going to tear something up. A white, a purple, kind of a tan, a darker green. A brown, a pink, a blue, a brown, a green, a turquoise, another blue, green, <laughs> two more blues. <laughs> Don't know what he found. A yellow, a kind of a greenish color, another brown, another green, a brown, and a green. I think there's 25 in here. Let's see. <laughs> There's like 34. <laughs> but I think that box was worth uh, $60. I think that box was worth $60. Uh, because uh, it'll give me a lot of fun time to just play around and goof off i haven't cross stitched since i was a kid um i think one year i got hooked on it and my mom bought me a lot of christmas ornaments and i did the whole tree in a uh, cross stitch um uh, ornaments <laughs> it was fun but i haven't done it in years so like i said before i would have paid 70 uh $78.99 with just the discount from uh, being a club member, but I got it for $60.03. Do y'all think it was worth $60.03? I do. I think that box right there was worth my $42. Because, hey, look at all the patterns you got. You could go buy this stuff and do tons and tons of patterns. Now, we are doing the this is the Super Saver Mystery Box V9. So I guess it's Volume 9. And it's called the Super Saver Mystery Box. It is supposed to have a manufacturing price of $299. Right now it's on sale for $99. I got it for 
7524. So let's see. It is supposed to have all kinds of stuff in here. It's supposed to have yarn, notions, all kinds of stuff. I don't have scissors. I use the voucher. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> okay. So when we open it, here's what it looks like. It is so light. <laughs> I think I have this color in my <laughs> in my bedroom someplace. But we'll go through it. The first one is this right here isn't that pretty it is lace weight silk yarn color surge it is a weight of a zero mm. hook size A 2.25 but I'm not for sure yeah 2.25 and there it is and so here it is right here and there it is isn't that pretty I think it's pretty don't know what I would make with it oh let's see how many yardages it has fifty grams and three hundred yards okay and we got one two three so we got three of that i think they're all the same that one is surge that one is surge and this one doesn't have a deal but it's probably surge next hmm wonder all three of these are the same so look at that that is just pretty 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 i love pinks that's awesome this one is called phenomenal 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 do you need buy y'all do you need buy do you need buy okay It is a silk roving Worcester weight yarn. It is. It's a recommended recommended hook. A five point five. It is a four. Fifty grams, seventy five yards. Isn't that just pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yes. Here's what the inside looks like on all of them. So, we got three of those. I was afraid that we were just going to get one of here, one of there, and everything. Dang. 
Oh, I think I got this in one of my boxes and was so in love with it and wanted it and wanted it and wanted it. And now I got some more of it. Yay. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I think I watched my video today of this one. I was just watching my own videos, you know, because Birdie just likes watching them. Are you going to get up here with me? And isn't that just... <laughs> Hold on. Did you get up there? Okay. So, isn't that just so pretty? Oh, it's just called Sparkle Classic Blue. This isn't it, but isn't that pretty? And so here's what it's called. It's called Sparkle Worcester Weight Silk Yarn in the Sparkle Classic Blue. It is a 4 50 gram 75 yards. Recommended hook 5.5. .5. And we got three of those. Okay. I'm not really disappointed anymore. Because it wasn't like I only got one of this and one of that and one of this and one of that. Yes. That is really awesome. You want to give me kisses? Daddy. You want to give me kisses? You know I love you. I'm just unboxing. I'll play with you in a minute, though, I promise. Now, since I've always gotten a box, you know, the I've gotten all the um, darn good yarn boxes from the start. Of course, I have that already. So, I might... See, you know, it's a gauge deal. And then, so this is the Lotus Flower Gauge Measuring Tool. And then, you get a set of their classic needles. You know, this comes in everybody's introductory box. And sorry about that guys I don't know why it keeps doing that but the deal it's a it's an H a five millimeter hook and you get the uh, you get the crochet hook and then you get the um, knitting needles I do like these a lot better because these are metal these aren't wood so um, I'm kind of glad at that uh, because the paint on my wood one came off but here's what they look like and they're metal these are metal well aluminum you know i think the i think the knitting needles are size six. Oh, and is the crochet one a six Oh, that's so cool. So, they're not five. So, now I got two. I got an eight. With, I mean, a H. And now a J. That is awesome. I might actually try those. And this one is a natural stone bracelet. It's got a clasp, so I'm not for sure if it'll fit. If it's a little kid bracelet, I might have to put it in a box I'm sending to my Aunt Jo um, for, her, for her baby. Hmm. 
it is really pretty. And it might fit. Oh. I was teasing. It might fit. <laughs> but we'll have to see if I can class up on these days. But isn't that pretty? I like all the colors. I might send it to my baby Cheyenne. My godson's baby. Aww. Uh, an omega um, well, you know, figurine, crochet, and knit set, and the watermelon. I was hoping to get the, the only one I don't have is the snowman, so I was kind of hoping to get the snowman, but I don't mind doing a uh, watermelon again. You get the, included is red yarn, pink yarn, white yarn, light green yarn, dark green yarn, black yarn, stuffing, a darling needle and you get a you get a knit a double pointed needle in the four and it's a three millimeter a crochet hook number two and a three millimeter and um they're plastic and stuff but these kits come with everything you need the instructions are really good and you can uh they're really you know they're they're understand you can understand them they're they're really good. I did the strawberry, and I have all of them. I just haven't done all of them. One day, we might just have to do it together. <laughs> and then we got the fox. Now, I'm going to have to look, because if I have these already... I might have to put these in the giveaway, but I'll have to look to see if I have them. Because I think I have the fox, or I was going to buy the fox, and just didn't buy the fox. But if I have them, then these will go in the giveaway. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you all the giveaway. Because I want to do a giveaway for my birthday, but I haven't got the stuff together. My friend makes earrings, and so I asked her to give me two pairs of earrings. So I can put one pair in each box. And then my Mary Kay finally came in. And so I got y'all, so I got for that Mary, so my Mary Kay came in, I got a face mask for pores, um, for it, and then I was going to do an eyeshadow palette, and a pair of lashes, and I bought my, my Ulta came in, so I got lash glue, because I like the Ulta lash glue be better than the Lashy Boxes glue, and so I've just been getting stuff together, and it all hasn't came together, and I wanted to do it for my birthday, but I don't think I'll have all the stuff together by my birthday, and, uh, and my birthday is Monday, uh, next Monday, and I'm going to the doctor in Chicago uh, tomorrow. Today, I catch the flight for my PET scans in uh, cancer centers at cancer centers in Illinois. And so, uh, I'm hoping that all the stuff comes together so I can show y'all what I want to do in the giveaway. But I was going to show y'all all the lashes and then let y'all tell me which lash y'all want in y'all's box if y'all were to win it. But yeah. Um, but if I, I want to look, cause if I have a set of these, I'll put one in each of those, you know, um, these, but in this one is the Fox. Isn't he just adorable? And what comes with him is some orange yarn, white yarn, black yarn, stuffing, uh, a darring, darring needle. And then you get a, and for the knit, you get a four, three millimeter double point needle. And for crochet, you get a three millimeter crochet hook they're plastic but still you know everybody's got them probably but if you were to want your little kid to to do it then you have everything in here there is three more things in there oh i can't keep my hand on it sorry so, the last three things is a made with love pen. I like pens, so that's cool. I have that because we already got one, but that's okay. And then, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but these tassels are so ugly. And then we got the tassel. And uh, the tassel is just... I have it hanging up on my wall at work. Because I kind of liked it. But I just wouldn't take it nowhere. You know? But it's a resellable package. So I will show y'all what it looks like. But see... And then you can fluff it out. Right now it's just smashed because it's just smashed. It's just smashed because it's been in the box. You know? Hmm. I might put this in one and this gauge in the other one. Out of the uh, splashy, out of the box I was going to do. And last but not least, my favorite thing. Okay, I have to admit to y'all that when I saw an unboxing, this lady got a whole box of these. So she got five of these. I was kind of at my fingers crossed thinking, oh, wouldn't that be so cool if I got five of these? Because I wouldn't know what to do. But I got a package of these. And that's 25 of them. Oh, that's just so cool. Yes. I, I swear I love these. And then, uh, so that's all in this box. And uh, so it looks like I might have two more items to go in my uh, giveaway if everything goes well. And uh, so I'm not, I'm not upset about this box at all. I think this was um, a pretty good box. And, um, would I buy it again? I might, but I was, but I was like, um, I was like on, um, I was watching videos of unboxings, um, of these boxes. And the lady said that she told them that she had, uh, purchased all the, uh, um, all the, um, subscription boxes, but, um, or she's had them for a couple of months. And so that they would give her and what kind of yarn she liked. But then again, I'm kind of glad with what I got because I didn't get any, I didn't get that many repeats. And if I, and if I wouldn't have bought stuff on my own, then I probably wouldn't have had a lot of that stuff, you know, because the only thing I think was a repeat was this. And that's because I think I bought another mystery box one time, you know, but actually I am really happy with these boxes. So all together, what do y'all think? For spending $42. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to make yet. But for $42. That was pretty cool. And uh, I guess I'll save up. And do another one. I kind of want to get the editor's box. Just because I want a book. But I don't want a knit book. Because I don't know how to knit. I'd like to learn how to knit. My... My foot doctor, is it a podiatrist? But my foot doctor, uh, uh, he, I made some stuff for his wife one Christmas, you know? And, um, and, uh, he said his son came home, uh, for a holiday and he was staying, he was like in Germany or something, Switzerland. I can't remember. But when he was there, he learned how to knit and he had made a sweater and he told his dad about it. And he got his dad and his family lessons from a, for, from a, a knitter. And then, uh, so I had made for Christmas his wife a scarf. It was it was a little box of crochets uh, scarf. And the anchor one, oh, he, he just loved it. Well, I didn't give that one to him. But I made him one in red and made him a couple of stuff. I made her a hat to match and some gloves and, uh, and all that stuff. And uh, one day he came down. Um, and he, uh, and he said, Bertie, why haven't you started knitting? And I said, I don't have the money to buy needles and stuff. I said, cause I'd have to buy the whole set and all because I have to go out all out, you know? And, uh, and he said, I said, why? And he said, because me and my wife learned how to knit during Christmas holiday. And um, because our son gave us a um, instructor and he said, we got done with the project so fast and it was so easy and he says, so I bet you could just be popping stuff out if you learn how to knit. 
and then I just teased him, and um, and so he he said, "How much do you think knitting needles would cost?" And I said, "I don't know." And he went and got me like sixty dollars, and said, "Go buy you some knitting needles." And so I bought them. I just haven't tried to use them. So I went and bought a whole set of circular needles, and uh, you know the ones with the that do the round ones. Cause I was gonna try to learn how to do socks, and um. Sorry, Jotty's wanting to sit in front of me and move my count, move my stuff. But, uh, and so he bought them. And then during holiday, you know, I mean, during COVID, I was going to start practicing. And then my friend couldn't drive. And so she needed to work. And so then I started door dashing with her to, so that I'd drive and she would door dash. She would go get the customer stuff. That way she could still earn money so I didn't get to do it but I still got them and I am going to do it since uh, Dr. Garrett gave them to me but I laughed because our, uh, as soon as we got in the car I told my brother uh, let's go straight to Hobby Lobby so that I can buy them otherwise I'll spend the money on something else because you know if when you have money you have money but I like to do what they tell me to do with it so that I have no excuses but yeah I, I would love to learn I've tried to do it i just can't get the hang of it um my brother's ex-girlfriend she wanted me to make her a pillow and she bought me uh she thought they were crochet books but they were knitting books and i was so excited because that meant that is needle but the hard thing about directions is i don't know what stuff is called so you know like <clears throat> with us crocheters we know what a triple is we know what a double is we know what a single stitch is we know what you know that stuff is I don't know what a K1 is or, 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 you know, that stuff. So I'll have to get the terminology. My friend Angie, she was going to show me how, but stuff just gets, she's got kid, she's got a kid and a husband and, uh, life just gets away from you. You're never off on the same day or anything. So when she used to work at Roos, I could just go to Roos and hang out because she'd be on the clock and I could just stay over there. But she don't work at roost now and so you know it's hard to go to somebody's house and sit for a while to do it um and everything but i i now have cross stitch so i can start doing that if i ever get caught up on other stuff i also got a tissue holder from mary maxim that is a is a um, plastic canvas steel. I think that's going to be so much fun. And when I told my friend Crystal that I had gotten that, she found um, some little mat, uh, decal, some little uh, fi figurines or like little um, things. And she wants me to make her. There's one that she wants me to make, and I can't remember what it is, but uh, I think it's a chicken. And she wants me to put a magnet on the back so that she can put on her refrigerator. <laughs> So, I have that stuff that I need to do, too. I think it's going to be so fun if I could just get motivated again. I just haven't been wanting to crochet at all. I'm taking my Mary Maxim to the doctor's office with, to the doctor's appointment with me. Because I'll have, I'll be catching a flight today at 7.30. My brother is going to take me up there at 5 and take me to the airport at 5. And it'll be an hour drive. So we'll leave here at 5. And so we'll get there about 6.30. You know. And um, if traffic is empty. And then that way I'll be able to catch my plane at 7. And then we'll be going to Chicago. And then I'll have the whole day. Uh, just in the hotel room. And then my first appointment for my PET scans and MRI. Will uh, be on Wednesday. And then. Uh. And then Wednesday, I'll have that stuff. And then on Thursday, I'll talk to my oncologist, you know, to go over the test and stuff. Because my gynecologist still wants me to have a hysterectomy. So if it grew, we'll be having a hysterectomy. So you'll be seeing Miss Moody Birdie. <laughs> and then I'll be having to take off work because you can't just go back to work on a hysterectomy. <sighs> when I got my kidney out, I... I did I only missed two days I got my kidney out on a Tuesday and then uh, I was in the hospital Wednesday 
and in the hospital Thursday. And then I went home with my cousin Jamie on a Friday, Thursday, Friday morning. And I stay, no, Thursday I went home with Jamie. And then Friday I stayed with Jamie one more night. And then I was back at work on Saturday. So I only missed one day of work. Yep, only one day of work. And I had my kidney out. <laughs> and then, so I thought that I would be able to just bounce back from the hysterectomy. But I don't know if I'll be able to bounce back because I've heard so many stories. So I don't know if I'll be able to do it like that. You know, it would it would be easier if I knew I could go back to work because I just don't like not working. But yeah, but when I had my gallbladder out, I couldn't drive. So people tell me that's how it is with the hysterectomy. <sighs> so if it's grown, then I'll have the hysterectomy. But uh, if it hasn't grown, then I don't want to have the hysterectomy. Because I want to keep my hormones. I don't want to grow hair and everything. <laughs> I'm just being ridiculous. If it's for my health, it's better to have it taken out. But I have non-curable cancer. And that's in my intestines. And they said that if I have the hysterectomy, they can remove uh, those tumors and see if they grow back. I'll still have to take my shots because it never knows where the non-curable is going to attack again. But if they take out the tumors, then we can see where they're going to grow back, you know. And uh, and so they said that if they do the hysterectomy, they can remove those, you know. But if they don't do the hysterectomy, they can't remove those because it's an invasive surgery where if they... If they take out too much, I'll have to be on a feeding tube for the rest of my life. And uh, because uh, they don't want to touch it unless they can go in non-invasive and get it out. But uh, because right now my body's still digesting. Um, so, uh, um, so it's still able to digest in the intestines. So, the, so they don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. I'm just jabbering. I don't know why I'm talking so much. I need to take a nap before I go catch the plane. But thank you guys. And y'all have a great day. And I'm just jabbering. Sorry about that with boring y'all with the last part of it. <laughs> y'all have a great day. I love y'all. Bye guys.